Hey friends, Dean here. Before we get you on to your episode, I want to take a moment to invite you to our next virtual online trivia night. Wednesday, May 13th at 8 p.m. Join us either on our Facebook group or on our YouTube page for three rounds of fun trivia, music questions, movie questions, general knowledge questions. It'll be a fun time and a chance to win some prizes and have just a good relaxing night uh, of some trivia at, at home. You don't even have to go out for it. So don't forget, Wednesday, March 13th at 8 p.m., Join us on our Facebook group or YouTube for three rounds of fun virtual online trivia. We'll see you there. We're on episode six of the Book of Boba Fett. And it seems that if you appeared in The Mandalorian, well, we've got work for you on this series. We'll break it down next. Get ready for the 3324 podcast, where lifelong friends Dean Legiro and Eric Coover share their love of all things music and movies. Dean has directed short films and is a music trivia buff. And Eric, trained in audio engineering, brings his extensive knowledge of music and film to the conversation as they discuss, debate, and celebrate their favorite albums, films, and much more. Welcome, friends, to episode six of the Book of Boba Fett, 3324 podcast's weekly breakdown of this limited, what we think might be limited, uh, Disney Plus series, Book of Boba Fett. So episode six out of seven, they call this the penultimate episode mm -hmm. uh which is a 50 buck word it just means it's the episode or chapter before the last chapter of something that's yeah. all it means and that's where we're at it's called uh from the desert comes a stranger directed by dave filoni who was one of the higher ups in the star wars universe and this mm -hmm. episode was written by john favreau and dave filoni so finally we got someone else in there yeah, uh, let, let me get the let me get the synopsis going so we can dive right into all this this stuff. There's a lot. There's a lot to chew on. Go for it. <clears throat> Let's do it. Marshall Cobb Vanth is back to lay down the law in Mos Pelgo, now renamed Freedom Town. The Mandalorian finds Luke Skywalker and Grogu, but is intercepted by Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka leads Mando to Grogu as he's training, but the Mandalorian decides not to interrupt and leaves his gift behind. During his training, Grogu's memory is unlocked as he relives seeing Jedi slaughtered when Order 66 was carried out. Luke has doubts about Grogu's dedication to his training, and Grogu is put to a choice. Stay and become a Jedi, or leave and reunite with the Mandalorian. As Boba Fett assembles his team of enforcers, Mando reaches out to Cobb Vanth for help. But before Vanth can decide, the merciless bounty hunter Cad Bane appears from the desert and offers an ultimatum with deadly consequences. Boom. A lot Boom. to chew on here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> we'll just go, we'll just, we'll just jump, I'll jump into what I was going to say. <laughs> we were talking before the episode started, we started talking about it, but then I decided to stop. People are losing their mind over this episode because they're so excited about everything in it. And sure. we talked about it yeah. last episode. At this point, this this is for me now. I didn't I didn't buy into it, but now this is fan service. Oh yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Another service. great episode. Yeah, another another great episode, but not. We've got two episodes now where and and I timed it. The scene with Boba Fett in this episode was literally less than a minute, and he didn't say a word, mm -hmm. and he wasn't even in the whole minute scene it was a lot of right. cuts to other things so yeah um effectively this i for me this story is you know i don't know what what do you think i i totally agree i think they're doing the boba fett aspect of this show his story is 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 they're doing him wrong they're just uh yeah. doing it's him a dirty. grave it's a grave injustice to the character i feel and while i don't have any problems in, in the fact that they're trying to change the character into something something better, more noble, perhaps, but we don't have enough of it. And I realized that I started it's, thinking about it and I, I, I came up with the, the thought that, you know, this could have easily been done in the Mandalorian as one episode, all the flashback, all of the story that we know up to this point on Tatooine could have been one episode of the Mandalorian where we, we don't see Mando. They could have done the reverse yeah. where it just, it was just about Boba Fett and they could have carried this story arc maybe maybe two three episodes in or whatever stretch it out maybe a little bit but it would it would i think it would have been a lot better i think you know yeah. uh, boba fett would have been just fine in that aspect Bo boba fett has left the building yeah you can't you he can't is no longer the star of his own show he has he has literally been co-opted right. 
by the Mandalorian yeah. with with let's uh, let's be honest with a better story. Uh, as soon as you saw R two D two, oh sure, I'm sure the fans lost their shit. Yeah, um, Luke Skywalker again. I you know what and 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 I think we talked about it earlier in the week. The deep fake is much better. You know they've gotten better yeah. better well, at they it. They hired the guy from they YouTube. hired the guy from yes. Control Alt Face uh, yep. to do it. So that's great and people were and then ahsoka tano so this is like mm. you know family reunion time from the mandalorian cast but yeah, this is not, not the show we're watching and right. Cobb vanth i'm not gonna lie uh every turn every what the f moment in this episode was was i was geeking out i was yeah. cheering up i i'm a huge huge fan of the clone wars animated series and he seemed to be drawing a lot from that series into yeah. this the fact that ahsoka tano was standing there talking to luke skywalker for me that was a big deal because I, I know thought that her. was a weird scene, though. What do you think about that? Because she kind of she shows up, you know, kind of deflects the Mandalorian, like right, kind of misdirects yeah. him and says, OK, you know, and gets time to talk to him. Yeah. But then when when, you know, Mando leaves and Ahsoka is talking to Luke, mm -hmm. he's kind of like, are you going to am I ever going to see you again? We didn't get the impression how long she was there. Did she just get there? Like, yeah, I, they, they kind of left a little a little they thread there a little. I was like, well, what? They don't bother no. to explain how she, how how what the circumstances were of her coming there exactly, um, and why but, she's leaving. And but and clearly she, she is that. the the adult in the room at that point. Yeah. It was interesting to see Luke still Ask. asking her advice, and, yeah. and and she because she's obviously older and and she's wiser yeah. at this point. So yeah, I thought that was great. You know, great stuff. But yeah, a lot of great scenes. The, the callback. Uh, yeah. to, I mean, so many, you know, so many parallels to from from Empire and Jedi. Yeah. Yep. with 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 yoda training luke and, and using a lot of the same stuff which was great it was great you know that's the stuff everybody wanted to see sure from you know probably back in the day with with a young mark hamill um yeah. so they got to do that with the you know a lot of callbacks running through the woods with yeah grogu on his back this time y you had mentioned uh, when we were talking earlier in the week about when they go for a walk yeah <laughs> and he forced but, oh has, that forced was so pushes sweet grogu along you know kind of oh, so, oh my god i was <laughs> It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Luke, like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, at, at this um, point, I think Grogu needs some pants, though. The potato sack has to go. Like, if he's going to be trained, right? If he's training, he, that, that gets in the no, way of what he's doing, you well, know? now he's got the chain mail, so hopefully. Well, he's got to okay. decide. <laughs> well, yeah, decide that's true. It. And I, that's true. You know. So, so yeah, the Grogu was put to the choice of, you know, take Yoda's lightsaber and, and become the first student in the yeah. Jedi Academy or Temple, whatever it's going to be. Right. Or... Take the the Mandalorian chainmail, which we predicted it was going to be, yeah. Uh, the little the little little top little t shirt top oh, for like him, that would from him. Lord of the Rings, yeah. like the what Bilbo uh, was wearing, yeah. <laughs> and if he accepts that, then he he can return to the Mandalorian, but he's not yeah. allowed to have any connection. That's a tough choice, I, I think. Well, what do you? My, my, let me ask my you, prediction, well, real quick. What do you what, what do you what do you think about that? Because I I read an interesting article where like Luke was being kind of a dick about that. Do, I do thought you agree he was with too. That? Yeah, do you agree? I, I don't know yeah. why he can't. Uh, why is it okay for Luke to have a, 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 a robotic hand that can do extra things, but Grogu just can't wear this chain mail that would protect him and help yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you wear. You know, there are some defensive things. So I thought it was a strange thing, but I. But he kind of he he couched it in. If you accept the if you accept the armor, you're gonna have that emotional connection to the Mandalorian, and you, right. you really need to forego that. So I, I got. They did a nice job of of laying that out. Yeah. What's what's your what's I'll give you my feeling, but what's your feeling about what his what will Grogu's choice be? I it's clear that he's gonna he he's going to reunite with the Mandalorian, but yes. he may, I think, probably do what's best. And I think perhaps you know when the when his show is done, perhaps maybe he'll go back to being trained as a Jedi. I don't know. You think so? Yeah, I, perhaps, I think he's gonna. I, I think he's gonna go with the Mandalorian as well because. Yeah. I, 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 they, they alluded to a lot of things. And, and when they showed that, you know, like the, you know, order 66 being carried out, mm -hmm. he's obviously traumatized, you know, and, and yeah. And, and Luke, and, you and know, doesn't really want it. Doesn't want to probably do that. Right. That was and, part of the, that was part of that article that I read. Luke was actually making him remember, which was kind of, that's, you know, it is a little messed up, but, uh, but I think, you know, I think it's it's just a, a fact that we don't, you know, because he's suppress not only his memories, but he's suppressing his power. Yeah, because he's you know, afraid, be, because afraid, he's afraid to use it, perhaps yes. afraid yep. what will happen. So, so he may be like a, you know, like a like an like an Ahsoka Tano, right? Like force force ability, but yeah, 
not interested in what they have to offer. And that would be probably more of a, of a compelling story as that character sure. ages as opposed yeah. to, yeah, he's going to go to the Academy. Cause then if he does go to the Academy, he gets killed. Mm -hmm. Cause we know that happens when, when the we Knights know of that Ren. tragic story, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so this is a way to avert that. Sure. And have Grogu not be killed, but still be able to have adventures and still maybe use his force powers. Cause he's got them. Um, he's just not a Jedi. Well, don't forget too. We're, we're also, you know, <clears throat> we're also uh, there. There has been talk, early rumors about Mando himself being force sensitive, and, and this whole thing with the dark saber. Yeah, he needs and to be, and 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 to wield that that weapon. Yeah, this could this could all tie into that as well. Yeah, so he, he needs to have yeah. some some aspect of force sensitivity to right. be able to control it. Not a full on Jedi, but those just the feelings to be able to wield it and, and be one with it. So the thing um, that that. that that baffles me is when, when where people are saying that oh this is the book of boba fett is such, is the best series because of this episode and that to me is nah. is wrong that's, 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 fan, that's wrong. people just, just fanboying out i mean yeah, yeah. we want to see we want to see sure. luke give him his own i'm, I'm all for it. give him his own series absolutely they can, do it. They can yeah. absolutely do it yep but you've got so much other stuff that's going on here Cobb vanth in, interacts with the pikes we we mm -hmm he kind of gets tested in the very beginning. Like, yeah. you know, he kind of takes the spice. You're not sure he kicks, he kicks over the little trunk with, with it in there. So, you know, he's on the side of good lay down the law there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, there's not, you know, literally Fett is in this and doesn't say he's in one scene and doesn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's you a know, shame. It's kind of like Sh F Fennec is every, Oh, we've got our enforcers. Now we've got this, we can control the streets. Da, da, da. We need more yeah, people. I have a few thoughts about it, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for our, you know, for up, upcoming recaps and, and, uh, you know, okay. just, there's a lot more I want to say about this and we just don't have the time to do that. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I so mean, we'll and yeah. then, and then of course, I guess everybody really, I mean, if every, I guess if, if you thought that seeing Luke Skywalker at the end of the Mandalorian was a big thing from the desert, the literally the title from the desert comes a stranger. Yeah. And uh, yeah. someone comes strolling into town who, if you watch any of the older, older, sh you know, Clone Wars or any of the animated yeah. stuff, yeah, is the the bounty hunter Cad Bane. And, who is, uh, you know, oh, I don't know God. much about him, but regardless, what an appearance. Oh, my God. What He's a character. Such a great character. Yeah. What, again, so well written and so well executed the yeah. scene. But, you know, mm -hmm. total Western, total, you know, Timothy Oliphant obviously cashing mm -hmm. in on his his justified and his Deadwood thing with this, which is great. Uh, w. Earl Brown, who was also in Deadwood, is still the uh, the bartender guy. So I'm glad to see that they got him back for it and, and didn't do didn't get somebody else. Yeah. And then uh, Cad Bane is just a badass. But question for you. Sure. Cobb Vanth, dead or alive? I, he's alive. He's alive. He, yeah, took, he, 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 took, he took it in the shoulder. He took it in the shoulder. He's you know, the alive. Guy got laid out. Oh, of course, because he was the red shirt. Who was he this was guy? Like we, we never saw him before. Yeah, like <laughs> he's the new guy. It was, they set that up. Like, oh, of course. oh, he's the new guy, and he's he's dead. You of know? course, he was. You know, like Van, Van's got one in, in the in the right shoulder, and another guy got three <laughs> shots right to the right to the when torso. He, I mean, you I, know. I knew I knew it because he was so like like passionate about his job. Like, yeah. was, you know, when you're that passionate, you marshalling for sale. Bit. And, and, and yeah. Vance is like, like he gives him a look. Yeah. Like, just shut up. Like, I'll take care of this. Go, go yeah. away. You know. <laughs> yeah, I just love the, the the way they the way they executed that with sure. You know, yeah. Keep keeping the brim of the hat low and just. I mean, um, did you know? I mean, you probably knew, right? I, oh, I was course. not familiar with the character, so I mean, oh, as you, soon as I saw the silhouette, I knew. You know, okay, because yeah, yeah, I I I I was like, holy shit! I did not expect it. I do. I didn't hear any rumors to the effect. Yeah. I was They're good I, at keeping the secrets. Wow. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. you, you got to, I mean, the, you got to <clears throat> hand it to them. They're here. Here's the deal. They're making a lot of great moves, right? They're bringing these characters yeah. to life that, that the fans of the series of the, of the animated series loved. They're just blowing this series though. They, they, there's seems to be something where they just seem to have checked out on this story. They're blowing the Boba Fett aspect of it, but at least in this series, I mean, in this, <clears throat> sorry, in this episode, they had something pertaining to the story, at least with the Cobb Van stuff. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, and, the, and least, the, but, uh, you know. and the sanctuary cantina, which, yeah. which I pointed out to you earlier in the week. Um, oh yes. Was, yeah. was directly a, a direct callback to the untouchables, the, the David Mamet directed shot. film. 
shot where for the, shot. Where the, the pikes yep. go in with with that ice cream, <laughs> which is known as the ice cream maker, which we thought <laughs> the, the last time we saw that it had credits in it. So we thought that there were yeah. these two pikes go into the bar for a drink. They get up and leave and they leave the ice cream maker behind and the droid picks up the the, the thing. It's like, oh, you forgot this. And it, you cut to an exterior shot and the whole thing blows up. It is in the beginning of The Untouchables. Yeah, it's it's literally shot for shot. I so mean, it's, the, it's a the nice angle, callback. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's it for Jennifer Beals. And that is the that and, and this was actually the first time that we we see the Pikes now being a threat. Yeah, violence, which is a problem for me as well. It's a, it's a nitpick because we up to this point they 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 don't pose that much of a threat. I mean, no things really at stake here. We know that the next episode, I predict that everybody everything's just gonna like they're just gonna come in kick ass. And is that it? Is that is that it all to the Boba Fett story? I hope not. You know, I really do. Well, I or mean, don't. we la- last yeah. week we we were thinking that that last episode five was going to be a one off. Yeah, right? we were thinking. Right. OK, they're, they're telling a side story. You got two episodes to tie it up. Now you mm-hmm. don't. Now You've got mm-hmm. one episode to tie it up because you told a whole other story that yeah. <clears throat> while it's great, um, is is for another series it's for luke skywalker the series and i'd love to see that and it would yeah. like you know yeah he, he is it is it a perfect deep fake no but it's a lot better and um the, you know they got smart with when they were going to be doing this for an extended a, amount of mm-hmm. time some further camera angles walking through the the bamboo forest i mean the sets were the shots it were is great. it is a different actor that they cast in the yes. physical role and he does look more like mark hamill than i think than the previous actor does so i think that helped a lot as well but yeah, I mean, I, you know, <sighs> boy, I don't think, but that's the thing though. How much fan service is We've fan got more serv- to come. But that's the thing though. It's like, you know, <laughs> no amount of fan service should replace a good story, a no, good narrative. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it should, it should all blend together and it's, it just stands out. You're so, absolutely right. You know, look at, so, how, look at like, how Mandalorian did it with Ahsoka yeah, and bo yeah. They, they brought them in. They got them in, they got them out, they, but they made them in service to the story. This is now just right. Like the, they threw the baby out with the bathwater. They threw the script away. You know, I've got no clue. These are great episodes. They're just, I, I don't understand why people are so geek, like geeking out about it, but you're not getting what you wanted. You wanted yeah. to see Boba Fett. That's right. Do, do stuff and be, I know I be, a, be a badass you know? or do whatever, even right. just be whatever, learn some lessons, go yes. through life. Obviously, that's not a compelling story because they just feel the need to just keep doing this kind of stuff. So, yeah, let, let's talk about the hits and the okay. misses. What do, what do you got for? Well, the hits for me, hits? like I said, I, I I think I pretty much said it because uh, again, the the Clone Wars, com- you know, all the stuff from that and uh, Cad Bane. I mean, you know, like I said, <laughs> you know, Ahsoka. Ta- I didn't expect Ahsoka to show up either. I mean, she yeah. she was a, a really um, it's like one one thing after another, and that was just fantastic and and yes i do i love the interaction of these characters but boba fett was not there (laughs) you know know, i don't know anyway so those those are the biggest hits for me was the you know bringing in all these characters yeah Uh, everything we talked just talked about with the deep fake everything looked great you know same same thing for me my the hit was cad bane i i don't know i didn't know anything about him so it didn't but that's a great thing it didn't make a difference he was still just a badass and still just really cool yeah kind of i know that him and boba fett have have a history together they had done some stuff so he's like you know boba yeah. fett worked for the empire what do you bother he did try and like not have to resort to violence he said you know let, let yeah. understand what who you're who you're getting into business with or whatever and uh right yeah we'll go from there and then like i said the other hit was the, the luke deep fake is really good i mean it's just really looking better but again does it belong what about your misses well, I would have to say the biggest miss for me <laughs> is the, the the less than the minute scene with Boba Fett. Now, what, for me, it was actually a, a, a gross injustice to the character because everything they they had done to me they undermined because he he's Fennec Shand speaking for him. Remember in the early on, he's like, "I don't want to be carried into town. I'm going to walk. I'm going to look people in the eye," which explains probably why you like your your problem with him taking his helmet off so much they totally undermine that now with him now just being like the leader and he doesn't do it. Everybody's doing everything for yeah. him. And, you know, he should have went with Mando to, to confront Cobb Vanth to, you know, he should have said, I'm coming with you. 
And that we would have had a great scene with that tension of him, like you had my armor, and you know that could have been cool, yep. something cool there. But that was a missed opportunity, something yeah. for Boba Fett to do, something for him to talk. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> put him in the thing. What the hell? Yeah, put you him know? in the show. So uh, actually, so that's the, my biggest miss. Yeah, th- that's that's <laughs> the same miss. So I'll actually grab another hit, which was the crate dragon skull on top of the sand crawler. <laughs> right when they're when they're driving the sand crawler when, when mando mm-hmm. when mando takes off and it's like this great dragon skull on the top that they're hauling away yeah i thought that was kind of neat it was pretty and they're neat. all like yeah they're, they're like, like waving, waving. <laughs> so I, I thought that was kind of like yeah. that kind of stuff i like yeah um all this would make a great like star like this is it almost feels like it's it wants to be a star wars movie that's not specifically about boba fett like it almost seems like if this sure. was like a two and a half hour movie just yeah. about the Star Wars universe and something going on, and then you bring these characters in, you you, you got it there. So yeah. Um, all right, episode grade time. What do you got? Um, well, for, for, you know, for like you you kind of split it up last week. I'm going to probably do the same this week. So for me, uh, <laughs> a plus. You know, for everything everything but Boba Fett. Boba Fett. I'm going to be generous this week and give it a D because, like I said, at least he was in it for. He made an appearance, and then, and then, of course, there is some story attached to what's going on with his story with Cobb Vance. So, there's my grade. So, so, so yeah, D. I'm, I'm yeah. going <clears throat> si- since Boba Fett appeared in the episode. I'm not going to dual grade it because he actually did make an appearance, but uh, D minus <laughs> <laughs> because he was uh, <laughs> ab- he was an ab- he was the absentee landlord. Yeah, in, in there. Yeah, uh, just just not not making any type of appearance or anything. It was just kind of very. Again, this is just now bewildering. I don't think to tie this up. I don't think you and I ever thought when this series began that we would be talking about it in this way. No, we were. Is that fair? And that's the thing. It's such a disappointment in that because I like it again. Uh, uh, you know, I just want to see Boba Fett get his due. You know, that's, that's all. That's it. It's not much to ask. You know, all right. <laughs> one, one, one more episode. This is it. We're we're yeah. at we're at the we're at the finish line. So right, join us every Monday uh, for one more episode. We are going to be doing a YouTube exclusive uh, wrap up of all the episodes, the whole series. We're going to have some guests on as well, so you won't just hear us. And we've got some differing opinions, I believe, on that. So we're going to have some special guests. We're going to wrap up that whole thing. Uh, we will see you in seven days for the final episode. For the book of Boba Fett, for Eric, this is Dean. We'll see you in seven days. You've been listening to the 3324 Podcast with Dean Legiro and Eric Cooper. You can find us on your favorite podcast provider. So please like, subscribe, and rate to become a part of the 3324 family. Your feedback is important, so make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at 3324podcast and on Twitter at 3324p to join the conversation.